So give me the couple tips. Give me the foundation of podcasts just because I'm just getting into it, like I've said. Yeah. I've had the privilege, you know, the cool thing that I'm doing is just reaching out to creators who are doing well, right? The creators are having success, right? I think success in my eyes is like, okay, consistency matters, right? What you're talking about, what you're passionate about, and you're like, you're grounded to that. I love that. It's like, dude, I like your vibes. I like what you're doing. And you're all into this. I want to learn more. And the last thing I would say, it's like, you know, I've had the privilege to talk to is, you know, creators are, it's not the number for me. I've had the privilege to talk to people that have had 2 million followers. I've had the privilege to talk to people that had 5,000 uh, followers. And the common thing that I've noticed with both is like, they are all passionate about that one thing that they're doing, right? That's yeah. the one thing. And your one thing that I've noticed is like the podcast, like the way you're speaking to people, the conversations that you're having. It's like, yeah, we're experts, but this is something that's new to me. It's like I have no, like I, <laughs> I'm just talking right now, right? Yeah, bro. I do this every single time. What's the structure behind these podcasts? Is from your perspective, is there a formula? So for me, it's gotten to a point over 200 episodes where I feel as if I know what I can do to create a great podcast. And for me, it starts with the guest and why am I bringing this guest on? So for me, I'm just like, I'm interested in that person. I want to learn from them. I, there's something about them that interests me, like you were talking about before. But then at a deeper level, okay, now that they've said yes and they're down to come on, let's go deep on this person. Let's go to what they were talking about in 2013. Let's figure out, you know, like seven podcasts that they've been on and let's listen to those. And listen, everyone doesn't need to do that. And there are a million ways to structure a conversation and podcast. This is just what I found is most helpful for me. And so I'll listen to five episodes that my guests had previously been on. I'll see what are the questions that they get asked a lot. And what are the questions that I can ask a little bit differently? I also have a running list in my phone of just interesting questions to ask at any point. And it's like, if you really think about it, the quality of our lives are totally dependent on the questions we ask, the questions we ask of ourselves at any given moment, and the questions we ask to others totally create the joy of our experience. For example, my grandmother and I had breakfast every morning for the past month. And one thing I started to do was I started to ask her five questions every day that I got from Jordan Tarver, one of my previous guests. The questions are, what are you grateful for today? What are you grateful for yesterday? What is one thing in front of you that you're grateful for? What is one person? Who is one person from childhood that you're grateful for? And what is one small, insignificant, seemingly insignificant thing in front of you that you're grateful for? And so just asking those five questions grounded in gratitude has made our day so much richer. We've had conversations. I've learned about her first grade teacher. I've learned about the people that have impacted her life that I never would have figured out had I not asked those questions. So this is very real and very practical. Keep a running list of questions to ask. I pull those up. I frame those in my mind. I also ask questions that, about the guests that they previously hadn't considered about themselves. And the only way to do that is to really get into their mind, their headspace. And so that's kind of like a little bit about my process. There's a lot more to it, but like hopefully just those little bits were helpful to you in some way. They were. They absolutely were. 